Hello my Capricorn friends, it's Guiding Halo here. I hope you're all doing well. Let's see what's coming in for you guys in the next while. There's no timestamp on this. Whenever you get it is when it's for you. Let's see what's coming up for my Capricorn friends. Happiness. Oh, beautiful. Singing. Delight. Joy. Joyfulness. Play. And then we have healing chaos. Healing something that's been a tumultuous time in your life. Security. There could be some sort of healing, a lack of, I don't know, something that's been secure perhaps. You've been happy in it. Building your own sense of security. There's something where change is coming in here. Something that's going to happen quickly and soon. That's on the bottom of the deck. So that's what it all stems around is change. Let's find out about this happiness card, please. The Two of Cups. A kindred partnership. A relationship that continues to grow closer. Forgiveness. The positive resolution of a conflict. So if there's been a conflict or things not being how you want them to be, there will be a positive resolution to that. It's going to bring you great happiness for sure. Telling me about this healing chaos. It's been in a time of turmoil for some of you. King of Pentacles, there's Virgo energy. A successful time, confident, accept opportunities you're offered. You have the Midas touch right now. Some of you have been looking for something new to do. I think you might be tired of doing the same old thing. And then security, five of pentacles, fear surrounding money, the wisdom to accept help from others, uncertain self-employment. So perhaps you want to do this new thing, but there's some sort of fear surrounding it. And it's a brand new cycle with the dreamer here, taking that leap of faith, follow your dreams, unexpected opportunities are, will be coming your way. So that's beautiful energy. Hey? All right, let's get some more clarity here. Two of Cups, that's beautiful energy. Some of you could be coming into a new relationship or new business partnership. I left your card. I gotta push it up. So there's a decision needs to be made. Freya's around here, my key. What's up, pretty pretty? <laughs> What's up, my pretty girl? You wanna come to my car? No, you're not sure about that? Come here then, on the side maybe? I don't know what she wants. Probably just attention. Maybe that's what someone here comes along and you're like, I don't know why they're talking to me. Well, maybe they just want some attention. Maybe. Three of Pentacles. To work together. To join. To teach someone something that you know. What's wrong with you, Free? There you are. There's my girl. You can stay down there, right? That would be amazing of you. Yeah. I wonder if some of you have feelings for somebody and they just keep coming up and you can't get them out of your mind. Um, it could be about working in a circumstance or a situation or teaching people about what you know how to do and all these things. I'm coming over, pretty. Hmm? You don't need to be on your mommy, do you? Do you need to be on my situation? Hmm? Do you feel like someone's on your back? Capricorn friends? Do you? Maybe. Looking at your options towards building something, I feel. Tower moment. Hmm. So unable and willing to make a decision about an opportunity moving forward, and the divine says, okay, you've been in indecision, so I'm going to make the decision for you. Something you're not seeing here. Before you make that decision, let's bring everything up from the, the roots of something here. And it has to do with your happiness and your joy. So something happening in the financial realm, uh, perhaps being asked to be a teacher or a leader. The, the card clarifying this is the Wheel of Fortune. So things taking a positive change, a positive move forward, or the Wheel of Karma spinning. Where it lands, nobody knows. But it's going to lead towards healing chaos, and I believe it's in your, your financial belief set. Wow, that was deep. Your financial belief set. Have powerful opportunity coming, awakening. Uh, 
something you already know how to do, but taking it in a bit of a different turn. Um, the divine offering this thing. There's lots of growth on it here already. It's not like it's brand spanking new. I feel like it's coming to you in a time where you've been just kind of bored or not sure what to do. There's some sort of tower moment that's been happening. It could be about maybe you feel there's too much competition in the situation. Will it actually heal the needs I need or going through a competitive time or always feeling the need to feel competitive? I think you've, in this lifetime, been very concerned about your financial security. I, I almost feel like you're gearing up for a, a battle of some sort. You may choose to just turn your back on it and not battle at all and manifest something entirely different, but it does, it does concern you about being financially secure. Changes, you're not incredibly comfortable with the changes. You wonder if you're ready for them or not. But change is upon you for certain. It's inevitable that change is upon you here. So tell me what card clarifies this pile, please. Ah, uh, yeah, you're uncertain, all right. You're very uncertain. You're like a wounded warrior. You're tired. You feel like you need a break. You've been carrying some heavy burdens. You just, you're just not sure if you can trust it. Tell me about the Healing Chaos card, please. Oh, I got three cards. Ace of Cups. A new opportunity, new home, new job, new life, new you. New love. Very passionate about that. We have security. See, an opportunity coming in. There's fears surrounding money, though. Fears surrounding how to make it all manifest. All up in your feels about it. Queen of Cups is very intuitive, very nurturing, very loving. You have a lot of emotions towards something or somebody, and it could be this new start. Is there some sort of feeling about concern about how others will feel? I feel like someone's just throwing their hands up and saying, F it, you know, like, I'm out of here. All y'all do what you got to do. It's been swell. third-party circumstances somebody could be worried about if you have a significant other a third party coming in to deal with a situation or coming into the situation and fearing that your security will be lost I feel like there's some sort of wait for money coming around here like you've been waiting for something to happen through your finances or a celebration I just heard someone might be afraid that they're being left out of a will or something and there could be some sort of battle over it. Yeah, there is some sort of battle over it, you betcha. And who's going to win? The problem is, is in this circumstance, nobody wins. I don't care who you are, nobody wins. When you're hurting others, instead of taking others along for the ride with you, no buddy wins this is very much about a battle of mine yours and there's no compromise in between whatsoever and that's the only thing that's going to heal this a relationship that continues to grow closer forgiveness right this is about your happiness forgiving others in circumstances not thinking everything is yours it doesn't all have to be yours it's how can it be a win-win circumstance and situation Oh, you don't understand, Halo. I deserve this. This has been mine. It's been promised to me. Well, I understand that. But has it been promised to you by the divine or promised to you by a person? There's that. I'm going to pull a card of clarification on this change. I keep making the table shake. Sorry about that. It's annoying. All right. And an apology. Look at that. An apology, an opportunity, a new opportunity coming in. And on the bottom of the deck, I have a Nine of Cups, which is going to make you very happy. But this is a singular happy. That's the problem. It's a singular happy. It's not a together happy. You know? So are you trying to win all by yourself? Or are you trying to help a, have it be a win-win for everybody? I could go so much deeper into this. But I'm going to leave it at this point. And we'll pull another reading sometime in the near future. I love you guys. I hope you have a great month. I'll talk to you again. Blessings.